Good afternoon. Chicken roasted. All I've done with this chicken is put salt over it in the, before I went to bed. Salt, then some kitchen paper. I left it in salt, which brines it and makes the skin nice and crispy. I've also then stuck some lime in the cavity, smeared it in butter and put some um, black pepper on. Over here, folks, is a mirror is um, a, a trivet of veg. So it's just all bits of veg with some oil on, a whole garlic and one thing or another, because it then keeps the chicken off the tin and allows it to cook nicely. And that underneath will be the gravy. Oven, fan assisted, what did I tell you? 180, if in doubt, 180. Oven chicken going in, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay folks, time's up. For the chicken, let's have a little look here. Oh, he's a nice boy. He's a nice boy. He thinks. He thinks that will be nice. So, the chicken leg, cover him over, not tight. If you do it too tight, all the juices flow out. Come back to me in a little while, I'll explain about making a gravy. So the chicken is there resting. Mandy's been at the wing there, I can tell. On the back was turned. I put some potatoes in boiling salted water, which if you just test them, the knife just goes in nicely. You want them quite well done because to put them in block out take forever. Potatoes over to the oven. Oh, I'm sorry, not the oven. Cold sink. Go to me, Mandy, please. Pull that away. Then the bounce it from one to another. And that gets all the little fluffy bits up. And then over to the uh, that's just some goose fat. In, uh, in the roasting tin there. Goose fat gets very hot, don't burn yourself. The goose or duck fat are the most treacherous things in the world to burn yourself. It will start. So once you hear the noise, yeah, and not until, don't be scared, put it in. And then, a nice shuffle about. Get the tongs. Put them all out. Look for your roasters. Swim my roasters. Salt. Okay. Roast is in a very hot oven, quite high up. See, one of every one of our chefs say, put them in the rationale box, boss, put them in the deep fryer first. No. So this is the leftover veg, the, uh, the, the trivet, yeah? Don't worry about the nice black bits. We'll be double it. Some tomato puree. One of the best things to make gravy, by the way, folks, is chicken wings. So this here, sorry about that. One there. Just a little bit of flour. Just enough. Okay. Let that cook out slightly. Now, earlier on, I roasted uh, a boiled parsnip, carrot, and sweet. That's already just to be warmed up, it's already done. So, what did I do with the water? I boiled the, boiled the veg in before I mashed it. It's here. 
If you wouldn't waste that, that's lovely vegetable stock. So, put that on, turn them up high. I'm very nervous of, of running over time with the old video. So that's why Mandy and I are doing it in stages. Hope you understand. Now then, what goes in there? The old favourite. The old favourite. Don't knock it till you try it folks. Then, Liam Perrins. Splash. We'll add a little bit more pepper. Like that. And we have a nice little rummage wrap. Now that already looks something like a gravy. So what we're going to do now is pour it in the pan. We made the potato. That will sit quite happily on the roses are done. And the back there just behaving themselves. So folks, we just that gravy, sorry to use two pans, but it was Don't video that bit, Mandy. That's a bit of a mistake. Now this gravy is made up of all the bits and pieces from the trivet, push that garlic through. Don't say you don't like garlic because you don't know you don't. Unless it's garlic bread. Okay. Now then, roasties. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Roasties. Remember what I told you folks about about broccoli. The nicest way to do broccoli, let's get the chicken leg out. That's been well rested. It's important to rest the chicken. Very, very, very important. So, plate's ready. So, potatoes. I think they're quite sexy, those potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. And I do hope you agree. Chicken. One leg. And if you want a little bit of wing. Yes, please. Like that. Wingy wingy. Do you know if I make a nice job of this, I can get a job in the firm carving. Okay, remember me telling you about this stuff? Broccoli. Shake it, shake it. Hand fry it. The 
we don't have broccoli every well we do have broccoli every meal actually because uh, it's really good for you and um, we want to stay alive we have every meal so Mandy how many roasters look three please three no wonder you've got a big ass Mandy <laughs> I'm going to give you that one because you like them like that. That one is the diet. Carrot and Swede must ladies and gentlemen. Carrot, Swede and parsley mash. Carrot, Swede, parsley mash. Stuffing. Oh, sorry. The thing. And then the gravy out. Sorry, I always forget I've added water. So what else is even about the kettle? So, nice gravy. I think you'll find that's a nice roast chicken dinner gravy. Well, I know you'll find it. Well, I found it because I tasted it. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to do it in fits and starts, but Miss Evans, our marketing lady, has asked me to keep it brief. She'll probably sell all these videos and make a fortune with that cake. Okay, love is. I made one mistake when we got married. Zoom in Monday. I told Monday the nicest part of the chicken is the oyster, which is hidden just there. Every time I come back to the chicken, burglars have been in and stole the oysters. <laughs> I wonder who it is. Over and out, and I love you.